Oh, maybe do turn around one of you. I don't get it. I don't. Yeah, well, wearing I'm wearing it. jumpers in the fucking sun. We're fine. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel for yet another video in yet another place and I'm with Hi YouTube friends The man, the myth, the legend and myself, Mr Kyle and we're out at Horsewater Reservoir today um, We're just heading up towards the, what would it be, the north side of the uh, the reservoir and we're just going to try and find somewhere nice to camp I've got the hammock, but Kyle's bringing his hammock but he's brought a tent which uh, changes the course of where we can camp a little bit didn't mention that bit too, but it's true, you prick. Um, <laughs> check your messages. <laughs> but anyhow, um, yeah, so we'll look for somewhere to camp and we'll bring you back and we'll find somewhere nice, hopefully. Don't turn around, just follow me, shot you quick. <laughs> Oh, maybe do turn around one of you. Wow. Here we go. This is looking all right. We'll get a look over that wall. Plenty of room for tents and hammocks up here. I feel like we looked out of it. Just wait for Kyle to get up this hill and then we'll get over that wall. Here we are, just over the wall. Look at this. We have looked out here, absolutely perfect for Kyle's tent and I can get a hammock pretty much anywhere I want but what I will say is it doesn't matter where you go you always follow there's been some bloody idiot I mean is there any need, such a beautiful place do better people, do better I mean I'm sure anyone that watches this channel had nothing to do with any of it, don't get me wrong but it's just not on is it I mean there's even a, a fire pit uh, it's obviously been here quite a long time by the look of it but yeah Regardless of that, beautiful spot anyhow. Gonna crack a, a cider. Got the cider today, no beers. Um, cider, like a proper little chav. Yeah, <laughs> dark fruit. me cider in the woods. And me Burberry. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna make a fire in the woods with Burberry and cider. <laughs> oh God, that'll be a dear fire. But yeah, anyhow, we're gonna have a chill out anyhow and we'll bring you back and we've got camp set up and everything's looking fantastic. See you soon. Well, within about, what, five, ten minutes of uh, the last bit of recording I did. I'll show you. It started to chuck it down. We're only due scat showers for the next couple of hours, if even that, but. Yeah, it came on quite fast. It did, didn't like, it? Rock with the wind, built up within like a minute. We've just thrown, thrown this tarp up, like yeah. it's not where I want it to be for the night or anything, but we're nice and dry, so yeah. Cheers, folks. Yeah. Happy Sunday. <laughs> Don't know how well we can see it on this camera, but that point there. Is the top of Kidsy Pike. So we've got uh, one week now till I do the coast to coast. So it was kind of nice to see the route. You come back down into Horsewater, as brutal as that descent is, which it is. Anybody that's done the walk will tell you that. It's, um, it's pretty much vertical at points. It's crazy. But uh, yeah, all worth it to get down, get down Horsewater, get to Sharp and get to that chippy. Hopefully, I cannot wait to get back there. I know I said that a lot on the. Um, what, what did we call the video? There was it four days in the lakes or something like that? Traveling across, which was us essentially doing the coast to coast. The one kind of to leave at Grasmere. Fun fact, he's coming back to conquer that uh, those two valleys again with us. Yeah. You feeling like you can do it this time? Yeah, I can I, I do that bit like this time, the whole thing. I think you can because uh, you, you don't have uh, a 20 odd mile day before that day as well. Oh no, that was day three, wasn't it? So you've done two, pretty much two 20 mile days at that point. Yeah, I've got, I love the the energy and stamina to do those and the knees i think yeah, that, yeah, <laughs> that was the main one you struggled with the, the pain radiating out of my knees like literally every step was just excruciating pain ibuprofen ibuprofen gel all of it was wasn't even touching the sides nah, it wasn't and it. i was just it was just beyond once it stops being enjoyable you, you can't 
appreciate what's around I you. I don't think it helped losing your phone as well because your your mindset just wasn't the same after. Oh that. yeah, it like it's, <laughs> it's amazing how much you rely on your phone. I lost that and it, uh, it was crushing. <laughs> yeah, it's an expensive bit of hate, gear, man. Yeah, I hate how much I, re- I relied on the phone until I lost it and I was like, well, I, done yeah. out. Yeah, it took away the last piece of. Uh, I can push through this pain. I can get through that bit of barrier. That little bit of eagerness and like think hope to stick through it. It was crushed by the loss of my phone, and that was it. Plus, you couldn't swipe on Tinder anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, one week anyhow. After so much planning, so much training, I cannot wait to get going. Um, yeah, crazy. It's crazy. So I'll talk you through the start of the video. Um, I've got a few little. Well, the start of the video I do for the coast of course. I've got a few little little detours let's say that I've picked because I've already obviously already done this part of the lake so yeah I'll feel you and all that a week on Monday when I start yeah as quick as the rain came it's stopped now the ground's nice and dry under it's quite it's quite comfy to lie on to be honest it's um it's a brilliant way to end the week this I was so ready for a camp I really was right now the rain stopped I can show you where I was meaning I'll just get over these trees. Let's have a look. So yeah, Kidsy Pike. It's, well, you wouldn't want to fall off the side of there, would you? Jesus Christ, what a drop. So yeah, you kind of, you come from the top of here, you follow all this down to here, and this is the bit you kind of come down and it's vertical as you're coming down there. I don't even know how to describe it. It's like really really steep scree almost and you kind of follow the path all the way down till you get to the bottom here and then it's about 3k right along the side of the reservoir which are blocked by these trees at the minute all the way down to is it Bampton I think it might be I can't remember what the little villages you come out at but yeah you come out of a village and then it's farmers fields after that hang on wild lettuce but yeah, camp's taking shape now. It's looking a lot better than uh, when we first got here. Tidied up a little bit. Can't believe this free fire pit around here as well. We've got this this big one that's obviously been here a long time. There's one just behind that wall there, and then there's one just over by this tree here. Seems very unnecessary. It's obviously a very well used campsite, anyhow. But yeah, what a find. I'm I'm so happy. It's one of my favourite places I think I'm going to have camped. We'll see in the morning. Like, it could be an absolute nightmare. Could get the wind just blowing us all night, but we'll see. We'll see. He's a perfectly pretty spot. Happy Sunday, Kyle. Happy Sunday. We just walked up the, uh, the bank there. I don't know if you can see the camp in the background there, but look at that view over the reservoir. That's beautiful, man. What a place. Gorgeous, isn't it? It really is. It's nice and peaceful. Hard water. Another one ticked off the list. What? Extremities get cold. Toes, Ooh. fingers, penis. <laughs> 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 right, sorry that was a random bringing you back moment there, but uh, we are in the midst of the rain again at the minute. The wind's kind of coming in towards us, and uh, because I've got this shitty tarp, I can't pull it down on the back side there, so yeah, uh, getting the occasional blast of water, but it's yeah, it's, I'm nice and warm here, anyhow. Um, yeah, it just keep, it keeps coming and going. Um, when it does come, there's not much of it, it is just a shower, but. It's just a bit annoying really, isn't it? It still looks, it still looks nice though, the, the rain coming down in the distance. Oh yeah, it's it a looks pretty like, view. It looks it's like, pretty view. looks like mist, but it's just uh, <coughs> sheep rain, basically. Sheep rain? Sheep rain. <laughs> yeah, it's rain and sheep. <laughs> so yeah, we're just kind of chilling out, waiting for the rain to pass. And like I say, about six o'clock, it's meant to, uh, that's it, dry for the night completely. So that's why I've not took the tap down and rejigged it. So it was more pulled down on this side because we can get away with it, we can get away with the odd shovel people. <laughs> so yeah, uh, we're just sitting, chilling, waiting for the rain to stop. Couple of drinks, 
get some food on us from it probably in a bit. I'm not very hungry at all at the minute, it's got to be said. But Kyle's, Kyle's cooked up a storm, a storm of a, what is it, a gammon stew? Uh, I'll let Kyle explain. I have, yeah. It's a variation of uh, Weight Watchers campfire <laughs> stew. <laughs> oh, yeah, I was yeah, no. that. All right, as if I need a Weight Watchers uh, campfire stew. You, you need weight it's, gain, it's, isn't it? Yeah, it's basically a slow cooked gammon with, uh, I've chopped up some chilli, there's some chopped up veg, mushrooms. Uh, I've got some Aldi specially selected. I think it's the Sriracha you know seasoning. Specially selected, yeah. yeah. Well, fucking Tesco's it's, fine. It's, it's, it's £1.30 <laughs> for a tin of it, it's about that big. <laughs> <laughs> cost of living, mate, eh? cost of living. <laughs> that and some, cost of seasoning. I, I think I put some <laughs> southern fried seasoning and uh, some herbs and some. Uh, honey. It tasted good. I tasted the, uh, so, the the gravy on it before. It's nice, like. Cooked for about, I think, uh, seven hours or something in the stock cooker on a medium heat. I think roughly about that. <laughs> <laughs> Look, even the tarp's excited for it. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I can't, I can't see us having a fire or anything tonight, anyhow. I'm enjoying, as I always say, and always do enjoy, sitting swinging in the hammock because it's been a little while I haven't been out in this since Kyle's birthday and to be honest I can't remember if we hadn't made a video that night I couldn't have told you what happened at all that night so <laughs> and there was about for what got put into that video there was probably about 15% of the footage I got recorded that night because most of it could not go on YouTube would have been uh, I'm not even monetizing it and, and somehow they got banned <laughs> it was uh, it was a very very drunken silly night but yeah fun I love Dan's bit at the end of that video but yeah, I keep just keep, I keep just saying, but yeah, don't I? But yeah, but yeah, but yeah. <laughs> but yeah, still enjoying the views. Still thinking of the perilous climb I'm going to have to come down from um, the top of Kidsy Pike in a week. I'm yeah, still we've loving us. life. It's been a good comp so far. We've had a few beers and that. The weather's not been... It's been hit and miss. We're getting all the weather, aren't we? We've yeah. had, uh, we've had wind. Rain, overcast. Wind, sun, as you seen when we were walking up from the car park, it was beautiful. Like, I mean, I might look like I'm like cold and freezing, but I'm actually quite snug. <laughs> yeah, no, nah. uh... we're at the top of a hill, the wind is blowing, it's been and nice. we're dry. So, yeah, yeah, I'm nice and warm, like it, like uh, the underquilt, keeping those buttocks toasty warm. Yeah, but you wear shorts in like the winter. It, yeah, you baffle true. me. You wish you you walk around wearing shorts in the house in winter, and I'm like, <laughs> uh, what, what's going on here? <laughs> it's, it's, I don't get it. Yeah, don't, well, wearing, I'm wearing jumpers in the fucking sun. <laughs> so six I'm, pairs of socks. Yeah, on. <laughs> like, the pairs in sun's out. People are wearing t-shirts. And I'm going, oof, this is chill. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. But yeah, what surroundings, man? Beautiful. See, I think this is my favourite camp spot. I'm saying it, I think it is. We'll have to get a few of the boys and come here in the summer. Glorious day, it'd be absolutely fantastic. Like, And yeah, what I like the most about it is like, the open space to have tents and hammocks, like, anything's possible here. But yeah, we're not having a fire tonight anyhow, because there's been that much rain on the wood, there's no point in even trying to get anything lit, I don't think. I can't be bothered. No, there would have been, um, there would have been wood nearby actually that would have been ideal to start a fire, like the bark on the some of the trees that have fallen. Yeah, when we first got here, it was all would have been uh, ideal so dry. To start, would have been ideal to start You see, fire. somebody's hacked half the tree off here. I don't know how well that'll show up in the video. Yeah, but then, literally about 10, what, 10 minutes, maybe even, not even that, after we've seen that bark, it started raining. Yeah, yeah. All that I, I've is, caught it all in the video. They'll see, every yeah. I think every time the uh, cameras come out, it's been a different uh, <laughs> weather situation. So the wood's got wet enough. Welcome to yeah. the latest trick, folks. <laughs> <laughs> It's it's even when it's raining though, it's still worth seeing. Yeah, it's, it's glorious man. Lakeland, we love you. We do. <laughs>
we've just been for an amazing look around the area. Uh, yeah, yeah. We've got some stuff to show you in the morning. I think it's going to be a clean morning. We found a brilliant view over Horswater. We've had a little run up a hill up here. Kind of near where the camera must have been facing back then, but yeah. Um, Stunning. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Such a good night. I feel like a child. I'm so happy right now. <laughs> uh, like, just running around the hills. Like We were just saying, you used to need a, uh, used to need a slide and a swing. You'd be happy as a little child. Now you need uh, open spaces and outdoors. Yeah, open spaces and hills. Like, but um, yeah, we're gonna chill out for the night anyhow. Now, so we'll give you a little time lapse of the uh, sunset, and then we shall see you in the morning. Bye, YouTube friends. Peace and love. Good morning everybody, I'm just coming away from camp now because Kyle's still asleep, I've been up for hours, but <laughs> just chilling, it's great, no phone signal or anything. Um, it's quite windy, quite cold through the night where the wind chill was uh, getting us in the hammock a bit last night, uh, woke us up quite a few times but still got plenty of sleep. But yeah, I thought I'd bring you to show you the view me and Kyle found last night, just away from camp, it's cracking, have a look at this. So yeah, I don't think we're actually going to get up a fell this morning because, uh, like I say, Kyle's still asleep and we need to be back in Carlisle by a certain time. So yeah, just for your chill around here this morning, I think. There's been quite a few people starting to appear now it's got uh, to this time of day. So we might have to make a move at some point. I can see the car park just on the bottom of there is getting kind of busy now as well. Kyle's car's still there though, so... That's all right. Not much to pack up today either. Just the hammock bits and everything else is pretty much already in the bag. All packed up. And now we have a Kyle. <laughs> Hi. Good morning, mate. How are you? Uh, I've got a headache. Real one. Um, slept a fair bit. <laughs> You've slept, slept about 12 hours, haven't yeah. you? Yeah. I haven't slept in like properly in two nights. So last night, and that was at home. So <laughs> sleeping outdoors, I slept for twelve hours. <laughs> uh, I, yeah, no, I'm all right. It's a decent night. Got his oats. Let me brew one. Porridge, brew. Yeah, and then we'll have to get packed up and make a move. A Batman go. <laughs> oh, you, Flourish. You're a fancy lad, all right. Yeah. <laughs> That's me pretty much squared away now. It's a bag of rubbish. My bag, which is a new bag I'm using for the coast. Of course, I've dropped it down to a 40 litre. It's just a Martin Wearhouse one. Um, but yeah, I've worn it out on a few camps uh, off video. I took it out on a good few walks with us, uh, the straps and that are nicely worn in. Um, yeah, I'm a big fan of it, I really enjoy it, it fits really nicely on my back. Feels comfy, 
it's I can't over pack it so it's always a decent weight uh, I've tested it with the pack I'm going to be taking on the coast of course and um, yeah there's enough room in there for four cans of beer if I need to add that in as the day goes anyhow so <laughs> all's good Kyle's just getting the uh, Fox 2 packed away served you quite well this tank Kyle isn't it yeah it's still been resealed but uh, yeah it's an easy fix I've just been doing yeah. that to my old one it's done alright once, it, once you you have to peg it out like properly as like as much stretch it out as much as you possibly can to get that inside nice and space tight. for yourself otherwise it's too otherwise it's basically coming in on you well it's uh no it's a good tent yeah like i said served him well have a last little look over here before we uh disappear back to the water cutter Definitely be back here. Absolutely loved it. It's the most fun I've had outside in a in a while. I think tonight. Uh, well, last night. Sorry. have it all packed up no trips left as always Kyle's just doing some stretches becoming a human again <laughs> <laughs> yeah cracking camper get back down that hill <laughs> we're fine <laughs> We are back at the car park, fantastic camp, absolutely loved it, like I said, we'll definitely be back to this area again. You had oh, a good yeah. one? Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's been, uh, it's been a lovely little time. Yeah, it has, it has. But yeah, Stunning views. <clears throat> but yeah, we'll be back, um, back next week with another video. And then the next ones after that will be the coast to coast. Great! But yeah, keep watching. Uh, Keep Hit watching that the subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, there'll be plenty of shorts up and um, daily Instagram posts and stuff while I'm doing that walk. So there'll be a lot going on in the coming weeks on the channel. So yeah, stay tuned. Thanks Bye for watching. YouTube, friends. We'll see you soon.